Okay, so he seems a bit fucked in the head. Can you really blame the kids today? With a population outbreak such as the ones that continue to this day, what can you do? Poor education, bad religion. Oh yeah, and daddy's got them Vietnam symptoms. Done slap little sis to the floor. We have seen what your way has created, and we tend to disagree, motherfuckers. You give us the world you have created, and act like we should be grateful to you for giving us life. Man, get a grip. You're the ones who should be institutionalized. It's a sad, sad day, my brothers and sisters. They've had a plan for us from the very beginning, when they created monsters via government experiments. Mine just happens to be tagged Generation X. Generation X is the byproduct of government experiments that have failed and were forgotten about. We were just swept under America's welcome mat and labeled Generation X. I, myself, am the result of the Vietnam experiment. I mean, if our parents weren't being dosed in the States with harmful amounts of radiation through their school's oatmeal program, they were guinea pigs in Southeast Asia, having their water supply contaminated with drugs like and not limited to LSD. Of course, at the same time, the American government was observing the impact LSD was having on the revolution directed, quote, unquote, hippie, back home in San Francisco, which was also saturating small towns all across the country. The target population started with the most threatening of internal forces, diversity. The same way age would be administered to San Francisco and New York a generation later. Shock testing, I believe, is the correct terminology. Anyway, I propose that a study be undertaken to determine what effects swimming around in our parents' anatomy while being blown apart by grenades and being internally raped by foreign, untested chemical agents and the fear and paranoia that a company had on us, the forced participants. This should one day be looked back upon as yet another dark and repressed period in this country's already ominous history. Should this not be considered as a very possible cause with its effect on the current declining Western civilization, and when considering how fucking neurotic we Americans are, well, of course. Nowadays, Generation Y is running the stock market at five years of age. They are being technologically oriented and enriched with that good old American consumer desire. But in one form or another, they are without a doubt in some form of Skinner box, same as we all are. The young cannot see the walls being built around them, the servitude and poverty, the mass hurting for the experiment. They, as with too many Americans, cannot see or feel the true spirit of man, for they have never known it, or ever been shown it. They have only been brought up with the notion that introversion is the work of the devil, and money is God. The sad thing is that it doesn't seem that God will be blessing many of them, and thus leaving these soon-to-be young adults bewildered and vulnerable for a government cause. Another experiment, you might say. <laughs>